<sighs> right now, there is no one here. And I am one of those people. I, this is my first time, first of all, going live uh, alone. I'm usually with somebody or inviting somebody on. But uh, so it's my first time going alone. So I always have that thing like, dang, am I going to have some people joining? Um, I'm not going to keep the conversation long because I have done a video set of shorts like this already. Plus, it's on my YouTube channel. But I have a YouTube. What's up, 9-1-hun? <laughs> um, I have a YouTube, uh, I guess, subscriber who asked me to do this subject on Instagram live. And so I am doing it for her. Um, but also just to broaden the horizon on the subject because it's a big subject. Like, So I usually like to say I'm going to wait for people to come in, but we're going to just jump right into it. Um, because I don't have to be on here long. I just want to kind of cover the subjects. And those of you who are on here now, which is only two of y'all. <laughs> um, but if you're on here and you have questions or thoughts about what I'm about to talk about, um, please feel free to put it in your comments so I can say it. And also, uh, you know, just discuss the subject. So anyway... If you have seen my video that I did earlier, which I have gotten a couple of people to respond on it, which um, the comments have been different. Like, like Instagram, I didn't get that many comments, but actually on TikTok um, and Facebook, I got some comments. And also I got some comments on uh, YouTube. But... The subject is, are we the manipulators? Are we the narcissists that we are constantly talking about? Right? Because, and I noticed this within myself, and I want to share with y'all. Pranoia, Starseed, Skid Row, I see you. <laughs> um, so, yes. Yeah, so, I want to share with y'all one of my situations that happened to me where I was in a are experiencing a narcissistic trait uh a cousin of mine this was when i was young i was well i was younger and we had an argument about something about the water levels in new orleans and so she was debating with me about low below sea level was the correct term in which in which we were discussing i should have been saying it that way instead of the other way and because i thought i was smarter than her i was like Pshh. like i argued her down and i was just like nope absolutely not and i argued her down and then i went to my mother who was known to be the smartest person in the world to everybody <laughs> and my mom was like no she's right you're wrong and that was the first time that I saw that I was being narcissistic and having narcissistic traits. Because at that point, I had assumed that I was smarter than her and I was better than her because I had the mother who had all the degrees and stuff. And so I knew better, but I was the wrong one that was wrong. And so we also deal with this within the church community. And most of us have been Christians. We have been in the, the church. And so most church people, no matter who you are or even your spirituality that you practice, we live in a world of opposites where it's like, one person may think they are better than the other simply or one group may think that they're better than the other simply because of what they've been taught but the reality is we are all on taught thought and so when we grow up in the christian church we're taught that the the christian church is the best way of believing and if you don't believe anything beyond i mean if you believe anything that is beyond what the christian church teaches you are going to hell 
right? So we, we got that embedded into us as children. So as we get older, right? Slave mentality without knowledge of self, absolutely. And so just think if we got embedded with that mentality, if we, we had that information downloaded in our spirit without our permission, that alone already created a narcissistic mentality in children, right? So, so we have to correct ourselves, And I'm telling y'all this because I, I see it in myself. My Alika lessons are always about me. So when you deal with these Christian churches or any church, you'll get that from other people. And I, I still get it to this day. But then let's talk about the manipulation because see, the manipulation is a little bit different. Religion is misover, misoverstood. Wow, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, and, and I want to discuss manipulation because if you are a manipulator, right? Manipulation can go in different ways. And so the video that I put up earlier, if y'all didn't see it, uh, feel free to watch it because it is on my channel. It's a short. But I talk about lying. And when is the first time that you told a lie? Can you think of the age you were? Because we, we, we are programmed to think that we have to tell somebody the wrong thing in order to get what we want. And the reality is, is if we start telling the truth, we wouldn't feel like we have to be so ashamed of what we really want in the first place. Um, and so in that we have different kinds of manipulators. We have different types of manipulators. So there are people that will manipulate you. Yeah, you were a child. I, I, most of us were a child. I know I was a child when I first told my lie. Um, but we can grow up having this manipulative mentality. And so once we find, because you have different kinds of people. So even in relationships, right? All kind. I ain't talking about just just love relationships or, or romantic relationships. I'm talking about any kind of relationship. You have somebody who is uh, has a stronger, more dominant personality. And then you have somebody who doesn't. Or you may even have empaths that... Uh, they can be more passive sometimes because of um, how we can take in information. But in that instance, it can be easy to think that you are um, Shira. <laughs> um, it can be easy to think that you are getting away with something and it's easy to say, oh, I'm just going to tell this person I want this, it's not that bad. Or it's not that bad if I tell them something that they want to hear, which is wrong. Or you can, you can uh, use emotional manipulation. And emotional manipulation is a whole different level because then you are preying on other people's feelings and what you want them to, to do uh, in regards to how you project your energy to them. And that's another way that manipulation can serve in a, a, a bad way. Like it, you can be a manipulator in so many ways. Like you can be a manipulator because you beautiful and your tire went flat. So you just go stick your booty out over the, the hood and get some men to pull over and do what they need to do because they pulled over simply for your attention. But did they do that simply because you had a flat tire or did they pull over because you stuck your booty out over the hood? You understand? Like so many of us use our beauty for manipulation. We use our beauty to get money. We use our beauty to get whatever we want to get from other people, specifically from men. Or if you are uh, bisexual or gay, then you're using it for the same gender. But we use our beauty 
Yes, clickbait. <laughs> clickbait. Yes, come on. So we use our beauty. We use our body. We use our emotions. And all of that is still a part of manipulation. And so I did some shorts on this subject for those of you who don't see it. Because I see people are coming in and out. And it's okay. I know it's a later time. Um, but we, I have shorts that are coming out this week on the same subject. And I'm going to put up a video on YouTube. But we also, when we go back to the narcissist, because a lot of people, if I break this down and I'm saying, well, if you lied, then you're a narcissist. Or if, if you actually um, don't tell the truth, if you decide not to tell the truth in a situation where you know you should, indirectly, you're still being a manipulator because you are choosing not to tell the truth, Right? So then a lot of people will say, well, I'm not a narcissist, but <laughs> what the, what makes you think you're not a narcissist? Because you have, you may not be a full blown narcissist, but you can have narcissistic traits. Anytime you look at somebody and say, I'm better than you because I do this, 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 and you don't do this, or you don't believe that way, then indirectly you are still, you are still big yo, I see you. <laughs> uh, indirectly you are still practicing narcissism because you are looking at somebody and putting yourself on a pedestal. And again, if I haven't told y'all why I do my Alika lessons. My Alika lessons is because I see everything in me. So don't ever think I'm pointing a finger and I'm just like, you, you, you. No, I'm not pointing a finger. I'm talking about me. My lessons come from me and I express them to you. But anytime you look down, which I have looked down, I just told y'all about a story where I looked down on my cousin. But it's several instances where I have to catch myself or check myself. And I think, I think we have gotten to a place where we are not comfortable checking ourselves because our ego makes us think that we are right all the time. But thinking that you are right all the time is another part of narcissism. And we, we are put in a world like our government. Our government is authority figures. So they are the biggest types of narcissists there is. But then we have the whole victimhood, right? So we have all of these victims. We have victims in every category, even in racist categories, black and white, right? We have all of that. We have all of these victims. But in your victimhood, when you start wearing that jacket, in that point, you are also participating in manipulation and manipulatism. Is that a word? <laughs> Is that a word? Anyway, um, yeah, so being a manipulator and a narcissist kind of go hand in hand. And so they like to say like the empath because I consider myself an empath. I, I, and I feel everybody. I can't even help it, but I feel everybody's energy. But they say that narcissists and um, empaths are always attracted to each other. But I also believe that narcissists uh, and uh, I'm sorry, that empaths can also uh, be manipulators as I have. I have seen myself be a manipulator. And I know this is a subject that we don't like to talk about. We don't like to talk about how we are also the manipulator because that sounds like it's derogatory. But my whole point of this whole concept of dealing with the narcissist and the manipulator is that we don't have to identify with any of it. But first we have to look inside of ourselves. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. If y'all can see the comments, solo, I can't even say it. solely for evil. Yes, solely. I'm sorry. I ain't saying your name right, but you are so on point with your comments. Um, and they said that you have to start with the person in the mirror. 
And that's what I mean. When you start really tuning into yourself and seeing when you can, uh, when you are making narcissistic remarks or being or practicing uh, the being a manipulator, then that is when you can start to identify it in yourself and grow from that. And that's the whole point, right? Like we can point the finger all day. It's some people that I could point the finger at that used to be on drugs, but they're not on drugs no more. It's some people that used to be um, alcoholics and they're not alcoholics anymore. So you don't have to identify with a concept, an identity. You don't have to be a narcissist. You don't have to be a, a manipulator. But you do, it is important that we start seeing ourselves for who we are and getting out of our ego so we can embrace who we are. We've been trained to do so. We cannot, we cannot possibly operate in this system without. I, and, and I agree with that to a degree. But if we don't, if we, if we don't, change that part of ourselves then that is a part of ourselves that is keeping us bind to something that we don't have to be we don't have to to be a narcissist or a manipulator we can change the reality and see this is what I'm, I'm talking about like even with the racism right you have the superiority and then you have the victims so for a long time, uh, black people or melanin dominant people, we have been the fighters, the marchers, the screamers, the criers, like I'm tired. And we have fought and we've, we've asked for our land and we have, we've done all of these things and yet we have still gotten anything. So then that has forced us to be more angry, more in a role that we we didn't ask for, but we are playing that role. But how can we change that? Because see, and I've done videos on this before too, but the, the reality of this is as long as we keep, yes, that's a personal responsibility, absolutely. But as long as we keep fighting, marching, crying, and giving that energy of being a victim, which is the catch-22 because it is what is forced on us. We keep attracting that by, by nat natural law, by law of attraction, by laws of cause and effect. We keep attracting these same things in our life. And so in order for us to change our reality, we literally have to change the way we operate. And it starts with looking at ourself, dealing with ourself, and, and, and projecting a new reality. And that's where I start. Like, like I said, my Alika lessons are really, uh, they start with me because I'm always looking at me. But then I figure if I can give you my lesson, then you can maybe avoid what I have gone through to get that lesson. What we give is what we get in the physical. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's the law of cause and effect. So how do we change that? Right? Because this, I'm not, I'm not a professional up here. I'm a professional at being me. <laughs> But I'm not a professional. I'm just here to give the message or even talk about the message so we can start digging into ourselves. And that's really what the Alika lessons are about. So really, how do we start changing that reality? And I would love to hear y'all comments. I would love to see what what the opinion is on that. Um. But yeah, that's that's pretty much. I, I think I'm done with this subject because everybody left. <laughs> so uh, on that note, this will be on. Uh, I'm gonna keep it on my my Instagram for maybe a day or two until I download it to my uh, my YouTube 
channel. So if y'all don't follow me on YouTube, my YouTube is the same as it is on Instagram, which is the real Tony Hickman, not the fake Tony Hickman. And one second, one second, one second. This is my book. It's called The Man's Cry for Health. And if you haven't read it, like I honestly, I haven't pushed it enough, but everybody who gets my book, I get praise on it. But if you get this book, you won't have any questions about health. I am a certified naturopath, a practicing liquidarian who cheated for Thanksgiving. But uh, yeah, so um, what you say? What you say? Be mindful of our choices and decisions. Focus our attention attention on our intentions. I'm going to say that again. Be mindful of our choices and decisions and focus our attention or our intentions. Bottom line, like you said before, we really have to look in the mirror and see ourselves. And if we could see through and past our own ego... Man, can you imagine how we can change reality with that? Just just being able to see past our own ego into our dark shadow self and working on that correction. And I have a theory about that. And then I'm going to get off the, off the line. But I do have a theory about that because I believe uh, Carol Hiss, I think that's her name. She wrote the book Sacred Contracts. But I was listening to a video by her the other night, and she said that we are all given these temptations, right? We're given these temptations, every last one of us. None of us are void of the temptations, but it is, it is our duty to master not giving into those temptations that we have or that are given to us. And that's how we elevate in our spiritual consciousness. So um, I think this is the process. Um, well, this is the beginning of the process because, of course, I, like I said, I'm not, I don't have a degree, um, but I have life. And I, I, I believe that it is so important for us to dig inside ourselves. So, um, yes, divine man manifestation, indeed. So, yeah, so I appreciate y'all so much for coming on this live. It's like 721. Um, and, yeah, I just wanted to share wanted to share this message because originally when I shared it, I was um, I was planning on going live with someone else and they couldn't make it. And I was just like, well, I'll just do it by myself. I've never done this before. This is my first time. And so a couple of people came on and off, and I appreciate all of y'all. I know the time is kind of weird. I don't know when is the best time to go live, um, and I don't have a hundred, whole bunch of followers. So, But I appreciate y'all for coming on anyway, and if you are interested in getting my book, you can go to my website, TonyHickman.com. Thank you. Thank you for receiving it. That means so much that you um, received this message oh it's all good 91 hun i appreciate you it's all good like like i said i know that um i know that oh now everybody want to come look at you <laughs> hold up okay so i'm about to bring somebody on because they have requested to come on and then we'll go from there because this is the person who, and you can tell me how to say your name. Let me, I think you have to be a, a follower of me, but let me see. How did that work? I approved it. I approved it. Peace. How you doing, huh? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for joining the live. Can't hear you though. Hello? Your phone is breaking up. Hmm. Uh oh. 
Okay, so what we're going to do, we might need to get you. Okay, they'll come back when their, their line is better. Oh, thank you, everybody who is joining. Thank you. And y'all, y'all know what? I was about to hang up. <laughs> I was about to hang up because I didn't know how many people were going to actually be able to join. Um, but I will tell you briefly, I just covered everything and... Um, I just covered a couple of subjects, but I was talking about manipulation and uh, narcissists and the fact that like, especially if you are uh, a part of the church, a part of the Christian church, or you've been raised as a Christian, we are taught as a youth to believe that we are better, or Christians are taught as a youth to be better, that they are better than any other spiritual practice. But even furthermore, you are taught that if you believe a certain way um, or you believe that anybody else's spiritual practices is is better than Christianity, then you're going to hell. You're considered a pagan and that's it. And you're going to hell. And um, there's so many ways that um, that that right there is the beginning of us being narcissists in our own way because we are taught from young and in the same way uh if you got a chance to watch my video on my page my short that i put up if you had a chance to watch that then you were able to see also uh when i was talking about the manipulator and the question was have you ever told a lie to get something that you wanted from somebody else and if you have then yes, you have practiced manipulation, right? I mean, that's the reality. We don't like to see it like that because of our ego, but that's the reality. If, if you've lied for your own benefit, because I have lied on job applications, I have lied. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you anything different. Yes, I have lied. And in that instance, yes, I was practicing manipulation. And again, I have brought up the fact that we also practice manipulation with our beauty because there's not too many women who have a beautiful face or a beautiful body or a little bit of both that have not used our beauty to our benefit. That's the reality. We have used our beauty to our benefit and I had said it before because uh, I was talking about like if your tire broke down while you're on the street. Now, usually if you don't get out the car, cars will just pass you by or you could just be standing, but they can't really see you. But if you bend over, unfortunately, if you bend over and try and look under your hood or whatever, men are going to stop and help you. And it's not that that's the only thing that they are coming over for, but they wasn't coming before you bent over. That's all I'm saying. Right. But that in that in instance, like we understand that as women and we may have used that to our advantage. And I'm just giving that as an example. Anytime you have taken money and used it to convince somebody when you know, otherwise they probably would have told you no, then yes, you practice manipulation. That's the reality. Anytime you have used your beauty to get what you want out of people, then yeah, you've practiced manipulation. So um, yeah, that's about it. Um, and if y'all have anything y'all want me to discuss before I close this live, because I know I came on at 7. Um, yeah, I came on at seven, but so the video is still going to be on my page. It's like a half an hour long, but I see some new people came on and I just want to thank y'all for coming on, on the live, um, because definitely you are appreciated. And I will suggest because you'll see, uh, I did put a short video on my Instagram page a real, and you can see what I mean, uh, just talking about the manipulators, but even furthermore, um, I'm going to put this video on my YouTube channel and it'll be on Instagram, I think for tonight and part of tomorrow. 
but my YouTube is the real Tony Hickman and it'll be on there as well as well as all of the shorts because I have about seven shorts that goes with this video or I'm probably gonna make it all one video now um, but yeah it's just uh, my my whole point is if we can get past our ego and start looking at ourself we can start changing our reality because we don't have to be a manipulator or we don't have to be a narcissist and that's the key just like i know people who have been crackheads or alcoholics or whatever and they're no longer those things it doesn't mean you you don't have to identify with a perception or a concept it could just be a room that you are going through and you're coming out you know what i mean so on that note I love y'all. Again, if you are interested in getting my book, A Man's Cry for Health, it is on my website at TonyHickman.com. And that is it. And again, this is my first time going live by myself. So I appreciate every single person who came on and off. Um, you are appreciated. Peace.